Um, hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Vasquez, but you can call me Dr. T. Um, six years ago, with 16 years of experience as a software engineer and a doctorate in tech, I found myself in the virtual queue of a food stamp line as I struggled as a neurodiverse technologist to find a job. It was then that Autism Possible, also known as Rept in Tech, was birthed out of my 15 years of adult education and neurodiversity research. Rept in Tech exists to solve tech education's diversity problem with a proven evidence-based approach that actually works for diverse learners. See, tech has a serious diversity issue. 75% of autistic adults are unemployed. Only 26.7% of tech workers are women and black professionals make up just 8% of the workforce. These numbers show us that there's a real gap that needs fixing, but there's another issue that's leading to the diversity problems we face. Technical education programs often promise inclusion, but fall short in practice. They're rigid, fast paced, and lack individualized support. What's more, they don't effectively use technology to scale learning or adapt to diverse needs. Instead of embracing tech to serve all students, these programs mirror the same exclusionary practices we're trying to eliminate in the workforce. This gap leads to a unique market opportunity. Diversity isn't just a moral choice, it's a business advantage. Companies with diverse teams see 2.5 times higher cash flow and are 35% more likely to outperform competitors. The global online education market is projected to reach a market volume of $279 billion with the B by 2029. This significant growth underscores the increasing demand for flexible and inclusive educational solutions, highlighting a substantial opportunity for platforms like Rept and Tech to cater to diverse learners. And with the neurodiverse services market projected to reach 13 billion, another B, by 2030, there's a rise, uh, a rising demand for educational solutions that truly support neurodiverse learners. And this is where Rept and Tech leads the way. Introducing the Rep Solution, a proven evidence-based approach that's built on years of research focusing on the three pillars needed for diverse technologists to be successful in tech, reputation, influence, and tech skills. At Rept in Tech, we provide personalized path with human support, engaging content by neurodiversity experts, access anytime for inclusivity, and adaptive tech for unique needs. With Rept in Tech, we don't just create opportunities, we create lasting change in tech education. Our main revenue stream is a $15 monthly subscription, giving subscribers access to exclusive courses, personalized resources, and live coaching sessions. Our content is designed for diverse and neurodiverse learners, supporting their unique growth paths. We generate additional income through our YouTube and Twitch partnerships, along with affiliate marketing. These platforms expand our reach and help fund our mission-driven content. We partner with brands that share our values, offering advertising and sponsorship opportunities. Sponsors connect with a diverse tech community that values inclusion and social impact, creating meaningful brand alignment. And recently, we've secured a two-year reimbursement grant of $293,000, which will fund our programs and operations for the next two years, ensuring stability and growth as we build sustainable impact. This is our financial projection for the next five years. And with that foundational support for, from the two-year reimbursement grant, Reptitech is building sustainable revenue through subscriptions, courses, and partnerships. We project reaching break-even by mid-2025 as subscriptions and course sales grow. As neurodiverse technologists and engineers ourselves, we craft solutions that empower diverse learners to thrive in tech careers. Our team's lived experience and expertise make Reptitech uniquely equipped to understand and solve this problem. So here's our team. So why don't you join us? Help build a more inclusive, effective tech education for everybody. Together, we can redefine tech education to support every learner. Thank you. Showing on screen, like I like changes. Oh, okay. So when I shared my screen, you couldn't see it. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I can do it again if y'all want me to. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, 
Um, yeah, so it is the Tennessee um, Digital Service and Educational Work Development Grant um, that is specifically geared towards helping uh, underrepresented people who uh, are unemployed or have been impacted by unemployment or poverty find a high skill technical training programs. Um, I personally um, oversee a program uh, locally at a local boot camp. Um, and uh, I've been doing that for several years now, but like I said earlier, there is significant, um, there is, there's a significant like problem with how we are doing technical education today. Um, and I, my doctorate is in this specifically, um, and I can't get anyone to listen. So my daughter and I created Repton Tech so that we can make sure to meet the needs of diverse learners, specific, specifically those of us who are um, black and brown, who are also neurodiverse, because in our communities, uh, we really, really are not only underrepresented, but uh, have little to no resources. Um, so that's what the grant is gonna help us do for the next couple of years. Yeah, so um, we're starting off with pre and post tests um, for each of our cohorts. But in between those, of course, you know, we'll have data points that kind of consistently allow, consistently allow us to see um, where our students are. But we leverage technology for a lot of these things. So we're able to um, make just in time uh, changes if needed. That's where the individualization comes in. And that's where tech education has failed to scale, uh, which is so ironic because you're like tech, you teach tech, like you should be able to leverage the tech, um, but they just have it. And so because my daughter and I are both engineers, we're able to to do that. And then, like I said, with my research, um, we're able to get those things underway. Um, and just the extensive knowledge I have with special education and adult education for neurodiversity. Um, we've been able to build models that have been able to specify data points and, um, and make those changes individualized for the students. Um, I've also employed a model that I call the flip-flop model. I know a lot of people have heard of flipped classroom style. Um, but neurodivergence, like myself, need a flop, right? So sometimes we get so distracted, um, we can't focus. And so that would make us not come to class, right? So that's where the flop comes in. It's like, hey, it's okay to flop. Just own it and let's go through it and um, figure out how we can adjust your program um, so that you can still meet the goals that you have. So very, very goal-oriented. Thank you. Yeah, of course. 